Hello, my name is Kai Johnson. I'm at the Stag Barber Shop in Eastwood. And today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We've got the world champion in for his beard tidy up. And we're going to be doing a little bit of something different in his hair today. Uh, we're going to be shaving the majority of it off, but we're going to be leaving a, a logo in uh, for the beard brand. We're going to be uh, putting the logo in around here, moustache, beard in, beard brand, logo, looks sweet. You're world champion now. I'm the World Mutton Chops champion, yeah, won that in Austin. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> beautiful place too. Right. So I'm just going to, all I'm going to do is basically just take off hair around. I'm going to leave, so what I've got to do, so I'm going to do your, do the, the black circle around of hair, then the tash and the beard. So I'm going to be, the hair is going to be the logo. So when you're going into the yeah, so when you're going into the beard competitions, a lot of guys like to have their beard faded into the hair, especially if they're having it a zero on the sides. But in the competitions, you've got to have a difference between the, the beard and the facial hair and the actual side of the head, so you can actually see the difference. So we like to just following the guide of the ear, not take it too much in, just slightly. Cause a, a difference there. How long is it you've been looking after the beard now, Kai? So I've been looking after Michael's well beard since it was about it's got to be four years, hasn't it? Yeah, it was about four or five weeks before your first beard event yeah, yeah. that you put on yourself. Yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah. Yeah. We've not done bad since then, have we? No. My beard doctor. Yeah. We try our best, mate. With this competitive bearding thing, it always, although the main focus is always on the beard, it's always nice to have something that's a little bit different that draws attention. 100%. Kai always looks after me. We always try and keep you in that judge's eye, don't we? So what we've got here, I've just, I've just put in a basic left, a basic circle. It's not, it's not perfect, but obviously you can see what we're going to be doing. So I'm going to go around the edge and just perfect this circle, get it nice. You look like you could be my granddad. Hey. You look like you could be my granddad. When doing stuff like this, you've always got to take into consideration the hair growth. You don't want to put in a line through something and then you take out a family of hairs and it creates a different shape or something that you don't want to happen. Go 
Your parrot's absolutely a nightmare. nightmare. It's an absolute nightmare. <laughs> I've got a parrot and he lives just there. But you know you've got the slightest little mark on your head. And he's, you know with me having my hair short, he can see it. And he keeps pick, picking at it and picking at it. How long have they been there, Kai? Two months? I'm a bit the right way you want to put a line, aren't they? Not too bad, to be fair. I kind of worked into them. You work round them? <laughs> you know me, mate. So we like to just keep this shorter here, keep it shorter here, and follow the line in from his tash into his neck. So pretty much anything above here, we pretty much just take down a little bit. Not so it's number one, number two, but just so it's just... Like I say, you've still got to have that difference there, so you can't really take that too short. So you have to actually have like yeah. sort of harsh lines yes. there to yes. be faded. No, faded. no, it's yeah, it's got to... A clear definition uh, between uh, the hairline and where the beard starts. Yeah. Okay. We've got the, some, of the, some of the rules that the um, <coughs> beard competitions put out. They are good because when you get they keep, off, they keep yeah. a good standard. Yeah. They keep when a good you... standard so everyone's in the same idea of what it's supposed to kind of look like. Especially with like the gap in here. I mean, this is supposed this this gap here is supposed to be an inch and a quarter, inch and, inch and, a, half. and a half, inch and a half, inch and a half. Um, anything more, it's not classed as um, part or anything of, less. Yeah, or anything less. So it's it's really. Uh, quite tight the rules are. You can't mess up mate. No. <laughs> it's no good chopping a lump out of it. When doing this line here, I just like to keep it nice so it's in line with his top lip. So can you see this? this Sometimes you take that too low, he loses it. Will, he loses the shape from when he brings it out. In you can see the kind of shape that he likes to keep here with the hair here. And you can see this kind of consistency of line and hair. So it brings into his neckline and then sweeps it in. 
<laughs> Taking these little bits out of here, it can be real. It's honestly, it's all personal preference. Some people like to keep them, some people don't. It, it's all really on the holder of the moustache and beard because it could get on his nerves. It, 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 sometimes it could not. So a lot of guys like to grow it out and, and push it out. A lot of guys like Michael, he, he gets rid of it because he he comes in for his beard competition trim. We like to keep as much hair there as possible, but this this here we like to keep all area clear of hair to make it look as clean as possible. And you can see I'm not even all I'm doing is that tiny little piece in there. So when he gets a separation. It's not all about size with these guys. It's not. As we've told. We like it to be neat. So this line here, you can see, we just like to keep it nice consistency straight through both sides. Obviously, as you can tell, normal beard, people's hair beard grows up, down, sideways, any way, shape and form. So even though you can see here, we've got a little bit of a stubble here. That's just because of the growth. He's got like a part in here, look, you can see his hair splits. Just here, look. There. And there. So we just take that in a tiny little piece so it doesn't interfere with when he does actually bring them out. And it's just all about control of your clippers, control of your hands, control of how strong you're feeling with your clippers. So obviously if you let go or you're weak or you're loose and you've not got your guard right and you slip off, it can be fatal. <laughs> for me anyway, not for Michael. So just, just to perfect it a little bit more, I just like to get the foils and go in. Obviously pre-comp, Wallage will go in with his razor and just really baby face it on his chin. Get that, the difference. Because even just having a tiny little bit of stubble in your chin, on your cheek, can really make a difference when you're sat on that stage. All comes down to detail, doesn't it? Yeah. End of the day. A tiny little piece more here, mate. Just one second. Yeah. Oh wow, yeah, yeah I love it mate, it's cool, wow the parrot has made a mess hasn't he, love it, awesome, <laughs> oh bless you. Beard oil, often copied, often imitated, often compared to, it is the pinnacle beard oil in the market. Head over to beardbrand.com and invest in your beard, invest in yourself, and keep on growing.